When I was digging out PCBs for my PCB wall recently, I came across these. These are some um, boards I picked up on eBay a few years ago because they just look very intriguing. Um, they're clearly military spec. Um, it's just I was really fascinated by the construction because it's just so completely different from anything that you'd normally see. Um, there's four different boards. They're clearly part of a computer system. There's CPU, memory, async and sync, serial interfaces, and an SCSI um, SCSI interface, presumably for a hard disk or something. Um, they're actually made in these really, and these are heavy, like two or three kilos each. Um, they're made of two two PCBs on a bonded to an inner, um, like a metal inner core, which is presumably for heat dissipation. And they're actually clamped in. There's, there's this clamping arrangement, that obviously, is designed to compress this plate against something for. Um, conduction cooling the heat out. Um, so they're heavily conformal coated. Um, everything's ceramic. There's, I can't find a single bit of plastic um, on the circuit boards at all. It's all ceramic. Um, even the lead is a hermetic, hermetic package with a glass lens as far as I can tell. Um, most of the chip numbers are weird, undecipherable. There's a few, th there's a few um, 54 series um, TTL for, from Texas. Most of the date codes are about 8990 um, thereabouts. Um, but uh, say there's all sorts of just really, yeah, there's hardly any component on here that you'd recognise as a normal component. Um, obviously you've got these massive great ceramic capacitors. All the resistors look identical, um, but if you actually look closely um, you can see there's tiny little black marks on them which look like they've actually been individually laser trimmed so it looks like instead of making resistors to different values they sort of make one resistor and then trim them to value um, the, the tr I can only imagine they're trimmed before they go on the PCB because um, the actual trim lines are in different orientations on here um, a lot of these parts are made by Raytheon um, but interestingly some of them appear to have actually been remarked Raytheon um, you, can see, you, can even, you might be able to see there it's quite clear the mark, original markings changed and the Raytheon's gone in, in red. So I don't know if that's a company name change or their own in-house coding for a standard part, I don't know. Um, so that's the CPU. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the CPU or, or the stuff on here is because there's another fairly similar looking chip on the uh, the memory board. Um, this is the memory, 16 megabyte memory board. Tons of, again, metal ceramic packaged um, memory chips. Uh, I'm not sure if that's... Um, SRAM or DRAM, uh, 4C1024-12 it says on there. The um, number of pins could be either actually static or dynamic. Um, and on the side here you've got another one of these massive grade interfaces. The connectors, they've got these sort of backplane connectors and these are actually metal, these aren't plastic, these are actually metal, these connector frames and they're connected on via these flex um, PCBs that are soldered onto the board. Um, there's also flex inter interconnecting the two sides of the PCB. Um, there's quite a lot of chips um, like this one with labels on them. Some of them um, I'm guessing are probably either bipolar PROMs or programmable logic devices. Um, there's also some UV erasable um, on one of these. Um, there's some Cypress UV erasable PLDs. I've got one somewhere with here. Here's what with the, um, the lid off, the label taken off. That's a UV erasable um, programmable logic device. This is the SCSI interface. One of the few recognisable chips is an NCR. Um, 53C90 SCSI interface chip on there. It's one of the few actual recognisable um, part numbers on it. Um, so there's an awful lot on, on here. This is just, just for just a SCSI interface. There's just an absolute shitload of electronics on here. But all, yeah, almost all, you know, almost completely unrecognisable. Um, this is the async sync interface again. Here we've got a, Ray a rebadged Raytheon chip number here. Um, these look like UART chips, as I think that's Signetix UART chips, um, 2692, I think that's a fairly standard UART chip from back in the day, and again lots of chips with um, labels on, so they're clearly they're, e they're either going to be PROMs or PLDs on there, um, quite a lot of stuff from VLSI as well. Um, but if anyone knows what these are from, I mean it's clearly some sort of, I can only assume it's military, not general aerospace, because just the sheer quality of construction. Um, I'd be really intrigued to know what these are actually from, if anyone knows. I'll, I'll do some high-res photos of these and post them up on the website as well.